The study of maths is rarely associated with romance or intrigue. In fact, it's often the least popular subject and the bane of students who study it. The Man Who Knew Infinity, a film from 2015, details an early 20th century Indian mathematician named Ramanujan, who divined remarkable insights from a simple math text he chanced upon. The movie steers clear of the intricacies of his discoveries, which would easily cross the layperson's eyes, and instead focuses on the magnitude of the contribution as well as the human story of Ramanujan's struggles as a result of being culturally transplanted from India to England. The movie features strong performances by Academy Award-winning Jeremy Irons, playing the disciplined G. H. Hardy, a famous mathematician in his own right, and Dev Patel of Slumdog Millionaire fame, playing Ramanujan. Hardy, despite lacking the human insight to help Ramanujan adapt to life in England, was an unyielding supporter of Ramanujan's fellowship at Cambridge. So, now we see the work on partitions and the enormous breakthrough that has been achieved. All this, mind you, by a man whose limitations of knowledge when I met him were as startling as was its profundity. Opinions may differ as to the importance of Ramanujan's work and the influence it may or may not have on the mathematics of the future, but one gift it does show is its profound and invincible originality. Mr. Littlewood once told me that Every positive integer is one of Ramanujan's personal friends. I believe this to be true. He told me that an equation for him had no meaning unless it expressed a thought of God. Well, despite everything in my being set to the contrary, perhaps he is right. For is this not exactly our justification for pure mathematics? We are merely explorers of infinity in the pursuit of absolute perfection. We do not invent these formulae, they already exist and lie in wait for only the very brightest of minds, like Ramanujan, ever to divine and prove. So, in the end, I have been forced to consider who are we to question Ramanujan? let alone God. Hardy was a Stoic mathematician, an atheist, and unmarried to anyone or anything other than math. By his own admission, his notion of romance was limited to the beauty of the maths and his wondrous collaboration with Ramanujan and Littlewood, a well-known contemporary mathematician. It is difficult to put into words what I owe Ramanujan. His originality has been a constant source of suggestion to me ever since I first met him. And his death is one of the worst blows I have ever felt. But now I say to myself when I'm depressed and I find myself forced to listen to tiresome and pompous people, well, I've done something you could never have done. I have collaborated with both Littlewood and Ramanujan on something like equal terms. Those leery of mathematics will be relieved that the script judiciously excises all the complexities of Ramanujan's work. Such complexities could have included a discovery from his original missive to Cambridge, which states that the sum of the positive integers is negative 1 over 12. That is to say that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on and so on is not the intuitive infinitely large number that we would expect, but is instead the completely counterintuitive result negative one twelfth. Here's an excerpt from the YouTube channel Number File explaining this discovery. 
I'm going to give you an astounding result. Astounding? An astounding result. So I'm just going to write down a, a little sum, and we're just going to see what, what answer it gives. One. Plus two. Plus three. Plus four. Plus da, 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 da. And I include all the natural numbers. So all the way up to infinity. So what do you reckon the answer to this is, Brady? Well, I would say it would go, it would tend towards infinity. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? The answer to this sum is, remarkably, minus a twelfth. It's amazing. I, I mean, I first saw this result when I started learning a bit of string theory. And what's even more bizarre is that this result is used in many areas of physics. The minus one twelfth result has implications in string theory and hence has universal importance. The astute film viewer may note a passing similarity to the story told in Good Will Hunting. That similarity is not coincidental and the story of Ramanujan was well known to the screenplay authors. In the following clip, we see some characters from Good Will Hunting discussing Ramanujan. I've got a full schedule. John, I'm, John. I'm very busy. I've this got a full this schedule. boy is incredible. I've never seen anything like him. What makes him so incredible, Jerry? Ever heard of Ramana John? Yeah. No. It's a man. Mm. Lived over a hundred years ago. He was uh, India. Dots, not, not feathers. feathers, yeah. <laughs> and he lived in this tiny hut somewhere in India. He had no formal education. He had no access to any scientific work. You said uh, absolutely. And, uh, but he came across this old math book. And from this simple text, he was able to extrapolate theories that had baffled mathematicians for years. Yeah, continued fractions. Yeah, he, he wrote it with a... Well, he, he mailed it to Hardy. At yeah, Hardy in Cambridge. Cambridge, yeah. And uh, Hardy immediately recognized the brilliance of his work mm -hmm. and brought him over to England. And then they worked together for years, creating some of the most exciting math theory ever done. Now, this this Romano John, his, his genius was unparalleled, Sean. Well, this boy is just like that. For those of you with a penchant for intellectual drama, especially those who liked Goodwill Hunting or A Beautiful Mind, those would enjoy also The Man Who Knew Infinity. This is Martin Weiner reviewing The Man Who Knew Infinity. For more info, check out martincweiner.com.